Hello and welcome to Bessemer and Lake Erie 902. We are in Faulkner, New York on Thursday, May 28th, 2020 as C430, 430, and C424, 435 idle in the Faulkner Yard. Trailing in the third position is WNYP AC46CW number 6003, part of an order of eight locomotives for the Western New York and Pennsylvania from PRLX. These locomotives are ex-CSX AC6000s and were retired off the CSX roster as part of their precision scheduled railroading program. These units have found their way on the Western New York and Pennsylvania Railroad to replace aging MLW six axle products used exclusively on the Buffalo line. Now let's flash back earlier in the morning to Meadville, Pennsylvania where this train began its run. Arriving at Cambridge Springs, Pennsylvania, the train is halfway between Chicago and New York City. A stone marker is seen in the center of the frame, commemorating the halfway point between the two cities. The rain was very heavy and constant on this Tuesday morning, making for an interesting chase of this train. Now let's watch as Western New York and Pennsylvania ME1 passes our cameras. In charge of today's ME-1 is Alco Century 430, number 430. 
This locomotive was built in November of 1967 as New York Central 2050. Passing through the hands of Penn Central, Conrail, and NYSW before coming to the WNYP, this locomotive has a rich history along with her other C430 sisters. The Alco C430 model is a very rare model with only a handful of examples surviving to this day. The 430 is joined by sisters 431 and 432 to represent the C430s on the WNYP roster. Quarry, Pennsylvania is home to the at-grade crossing of the Western New York and Pennsylvania and the Buffalo and Pittsburgh Railroad. The heritage of the predecessor railroads can be seen in the form of the signal systems, with WNYP having Conrail signals and Buffalo and Pittsburgh having Pennsylvania Railroad signals. Arriving in Faulkner, New York, ME-1 is now at the end of its journey, at least for the Meadville crew. In Faulkner, this eastbound train will meet its westbound counterpart, which departed Olean earlier in the morning and traveled west to Faulkner. At the yard, a crew change and some switching will happen before the crews return to their respective home base of operations. Now let's watch as ME-1 enters Faulkner Yard limits and passes our cameras.
Moving to the east end of the yard, the Olean crew waits patiently in C430 pair 431 and 432 as the MU-1 crew picks up and drops off cars. Once their work is complete, the two crews will switch locomotive consists and the Olean crew will bring the 430, 435, and 6003 to the east end of the yard to pick up one more cut of covered hopper cars before departing Faulkner.
with its train now built, 430, 435, and 6003 are now ready to head east towards Olean, New York. We thank you for watching Bessemer and Lake Erie 902, and we hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Happy rail fanning and train chasing.